I'm not gonna lie. It's 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 not easy. But then I think about all the good things that I have in my life. Look at my face. I'm not a meth head. I've never touched it in my life. There's things going on with me. There's rumors. There's people that are body shaming me. Aaron Carter's family believes he didn't pass away from drowning in his bathtub, but rather from an overdose brought on by an unsuccessful drug transaction. Sterile Pros LLC, who completed work at their Lancaster residence last year, has filed a new complaint on behalf of Aaron Carter's estate and that of his fiance, Melanie Martin. Why did the corporation bring the complaint? Will Aaron's family suspect disclose a new turn in his death mystery? Is Melanie telling the truth? Want more of the juiciest rumors about your favorite stars or all types of celebrity news and pop culture? Hit that subscribe button, like the video, and turn on notifications for Celebrity Pop. Aaron Carter's body was discovered in the bathtub of his home, but his family now claims that he didn't pass away due to drowning. Instead, they suspect that narcotics were the cause of his death. On November 5th, the unsettling vocalist took his own life at 34. According to a statement sent to the Post by a Los Angeles County Sheriff's Department spokeswoman, Officers who arrived at Carter's home at 10.58 a.m. local time discovered a body there. The official cause of his death has not been disclosed. Nevertheless, at the time of his passing, reports said that Carter was found in his bathtub after a call to 911 was made regarding a drowning. Now, his fiance Melanie Martin and his mother Jane Carter have told TMZ that the Los Angeles County Coroner's Office notified them that there was no water discovered in Carter's lungs, excluding drowning as a likely cause of death. The Carter family's representatives have been contacted by Post to get a comment. Martin claimed that she discovered text messages on her late fiancé's phone in which they discussed owing an anonymous individual $800 for an unknown substance. According to Martin, Carter had explained to the other person that he no longer needed the medication, but the other person had informed Carter that the money was still owed to them. It's said that Carter responded by asking whether he was in danger and threatened, but it was the last thing that was spoken throughout the exchange. Martin revealed to TMZ that she had a meeting with law enforcement officials the previous week and presented the text conversations as proof at that meeting. She also joined Carter's mother in saying that the coroner is still waiting for test findings to ascertain what chemicals were in the late teen idol's body when he died. And the family wants law enforcement to examine the alleged drug transaction the night of Aaron's death. Carter's family now thinks that he may have met with the unidentified person before his death and may have taken a narcotic with that person, both of which may have contributed to his passing. Um, at the height, I was taking uh, seven two milligrams Xanax bars, so that means 14 milligrams a day. In an episode of The Doctors that aired in 2019, Carter, who was 31 years old, discussed his history of huffing addiction. It's something that I've kept hidden from the entire world until now, he said, adding that his sister Leslie, who died of a heroin overdose in 2012, was the one who first introduced him to huffing. Leslie, my sister, you know, she was heavy into it as well. I'd say I was approximately 16 when I started, he stated. I began going to Staples and Office Depot as well as other places and purchasing it with cash so that it wouldn't be documented on receipts or anything like that, making it impossible for anybody to track me down. He said I was puffing because I was so effing foolish and unhappy, but this is no excuse. I was huffing because I was extremely effing stupid and sad. Because I'm a drug addict, I was puffing when I did it. Dr. Travis Stork, the show's host, said his urine tested positive for marijuana, prolonged opiates, hydrocodone as an example, and benzodiazepine. Look at my face. I'm not a meth head. I've never touched it in my life. Martin had previously said to Page Six that Carter didn't know how to escape his troubles and that he often got suckered into partying, which was a challenge for him as he attempted to maintain sobriety. Melanie Martin believes that Aaron Carter didn't know how to escape his issues before the terrible death that occurred on November 5th at 34. In an interview with Page Six, the OnlyFans model who's 30 years old said that despite his best attempts, Carter would easily be suckered into partying, leaving him feeling guilty as he tried to remain sober. At the end of his life, there were just too many people engaged, she said. They were not the right individuals to be there, she claimed. There were moments when he would be like, I can't believe I did that, or I don't want to be associated with these people, and he would easily be suckered in. It was very horrible. It continued in this back and forth, back and forth fashion. However, she was aware that it was a major task to attempt to bring him back to where he was before the relapse. She also said in the past that they would have to make an appearance in December because he was attempting to reclaim custody of their son, Prince, who was one year old. The course required the couple to attend parenting courses together, so they did. Martin's mother was granted interim custody of their kid since there had been many instances of domestic violence and there were concerns over Martin's usage of drugs. 
Despite this, Carter had entered into an outpatient rehabilitation program by September to reclaim custody of his kid. Something like this, when he looks at you and... Oh yeah, are you looking at me? Carter was discovered dead in the bathtub of his California home about a month ago. Thus, he was never able to accomplish this goal. In November, a call to 911 reporting a possible drowning led to the police being dispatched to Carter's house in Los Angeles. They discovered his corpse in his bathtub with the water jets operating as usual. Because the water was an unusual hue and smelled putrid, law enforcement officials think that Carter's corpse may have been in the bathtub for a considerable period before it was discovered. According to information provided to TMZ by law enforcement officials in the past, the police allegedly discovered prescription pill bottles and many cans of compressed air in the singer's bathroom and bedroom. The death certificate for Carter, which was made public in November, disclosed that the singer was cremated and suggested that an autopsy had been done, however, the cause of death was withheld at the time of the report's publication. After coming to prominence at such a young age, Aaron battled substance abuse and challenges related to his mental health for the better part of his life. Putting me down, and yeah, like, I didn't realize I was 115 pounds. That is terrible. The musician, best known for his hit single, I Want Candy, has never been secretive about his battles with addiction, especially the protracted fight he had with inhaling air dusters. Last week, Aaron Carter's brother, Nick Carter, published a song entitled Hurts to Love You in memory of their late sibling. The song was dedicated to Aaron. The biohazard cleanup business is demanding thousands of dollars from the late singer's estate, according to court records that were acquired exclusively by The Blast. The estates of the late Aaron Carter and Melanie Martin owe thousands of dollars to a company that worked on the Carter's home in Lancaster, Pennsylvania in the previous year. According to court records acquired by The Blast, a mechanic's lien has been put on the joint house that Aaron and Melanie occupied in Lancaster. Sterile Pros LLC asserts its right to a lien for labor services, equipment, and materials onto the premises and upon every estate or interest in such buildings and improvements. The firm is requesting payment for the biohazardous treatment performed on three bedrooms, a primary bathroom, and a closet. They claim the total cost was over $33,000. Even though Melanie Martin is also stated on the contract, the property owner's title is shown to be under Aaron C. Carter's name. The business asserts that Aaron or Melanie asked them to do the work and obtain the supplies. Now they're demanding payment from Aaron's estate since they carried out the task at the behest of either Aaron or Melanie. If the estate intends to sell the property, they will need to pay off the mechanic's lien, which might take some time. On November 5th, 2022, the body of the famous pop singer was discovered inside his residence in Lancaster, California at the age of 34. We heard from some of those closest to Aaron Carter. On Wednesday, November 9th, 2022, a little less than a week after his death, he was cremated. Although an autopsy was done on his body after he passed, the investigators have not been able to determine what caused his passing. Aaron's loved ones are currently awaiting the results of the toxicology testing so that they may learn what substances were present in Aaron's body at the time of his passing. What mystery will be disclosed by the results of the toxicology testing? What may be the actual reason for your favorite celebrity's death? What do you think? Tell us in the comments. And for all types of celebrity news and pop culture, like the video, hit that subscribe button, and turn on notifications for Celebrity Pop.